Good morning everyone. Once again here from the beautiful city of Phnom Penh. This is my final day in Phnom Penh. I'm leaving today for Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. Yes, that's right. It's a new country for me. And I'm excited to be going there for the first time. So I've just checked out from a hotel, which is the, uh, the best central hotel. And now I'm just waiting on my transport. I'm leaving with the company called Giant Ibis. And uh, the bus ride cost me $35. That'll take me all the way from here to through the border post into Ho Chi Minh City. All right, but how amazing is Phnom Penh, man? I've actually only had a day and a half in Phnom Penh, to be honest. Um, arrived here the day before, arrived in the afternoon, and immediately went on a boat ride and immediately checked out the night market. So I, I was quite productive on my first day. Yesterday was uh, a day of exploring the temples and the royal palace and then also going on an excursion to one of the big malls I was looking for uh, some shoes, some sneakers but overall guys I think I might I think I can do with maybe two or three more days in Phnom Penh Cambodia has been such a vibe the people, the people have been friendly and generous and polite and uh, the hospitality in this place is next level so I'm loving uh, Cambodia and but now I'm looking forward to going to a new country. I think this might be my bus. Uh, yes, Ho Chi Minh. Hello everyone. Customer that go to Ho Chi Minh will drop off here and customer go to Sim Reap will stay on the bus. Okay, so that's me. Yeah, so as expected, that's just the bus that came to fetch us from our hotels. And uh, now we're going to wait on the big bus, the big boy, to take us to Ho Chi Minh. Yeah. I'm at 4 Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you. Oh, it's reclining seats. It's amazing. And it seems very comfortable as well. And then you also have this uh, leg rest which you can lift. You can see mine's already lifted. You can even lift it some more, take it down. But I won't take it down too much because I have my bag. At the bottom, there's not enough space in the uh, overhead co uh, compartment. Right, so we've got our own aircon, our speaker, light. Wow, guys. Not bad at all for $35. There's also Wi Fi on the bus. I'm going to check that out now. Wow, check this, guys. We just got this uh, pan for breakfast. I did see them carrying some water onto the bus, so hopefully that's for us. <laughs> um, but this this was a nice surprise. So this will just uh, fill the gap until we get to maybe our first stop, and then we'll get a proper breakfast or something at one of the service station, uh, gas stations, whatever. Guys, we're also getting coffee. Mm. Thank you so much. Look at that, it's a latte. Alright, so that's the passport. <laughs> Just checking that all the papers are in order, the visa application and the export and the exit uh, immigration card. Cambodia. My papers are all good. Everything's checked. So uh, we shouldn't have any problems at immigration going out and entering Ho Chi Minh City. So, uh, so far, so good.
already, guys. We're about one and a half hours in, and we're just making our first stop at this uh, service station. So this is just a bathroom break, really. So we're gonna stop here for 10 minutes. And the lady just announced now that after this stop, we will drive another one hour, 30 minutes onto the border. And then we'll also have lunch at the border. So there might be some restaurant, I suppose. Right, let's go. Further break. store that we stopped at that has the bathrooms they also have all sorts of uh, items for sale like clothing uh, obviously food refreshments and so forth but then I also noticed that there's a money exchange uh, desk inside so that's actually quite a good idea if you still have any um, Cambodian um, real lift you can actually change it now to the Vietnamese gong. I think that's what it's called. I'll confirm that. But that's a good idea. So you can actually change your money now. Instead of changing it, you know, uh, back to dollar and then changing it back um, in Vietnam. I think it's a good idea. I've already changed my money, unfortunately, because I wasn't sure whether I was going to find a spot before the border. Had I known, but you see, this is why I'm making this video so you can see exactly what you need to do. I'm just having my snack now. Mm. It's croissant. With some stuff on the inside, some uh, like a chocolate sauce or something, and I think there might be raisins in there as well. Not bad. Alrighty guys, we have just stopped at the Mok Bai border post on the Cambodian side. So guys, the three things you got to bring is your passport, your uh, immigration card that for Cambodia, which was the entry and exit card, and then also the electronic visa card for Vietnam. The process is straightforward, like any border post, they would uh, check all the documents and obviously then once you approve they will stamp your passport and you're on your way so we have passed through that that was successful i think uh, there were no issues with anybody's passports and now we are stopping at this uh what's this called prestige duty free uh we're not quite past the border post for for vietnam yet so we're just going to stop here for lunch for 30 minutes and then we'll be on our way through to the border of vietnam uh, obviously lunch is not included guys you got to pay for your own lunch and just a reminder that the electronic visa card or the electronic visa document you have to print it out uh, you can't show them the electronic version of it so it has to be printed out mm. okay guys so uh, we passed the border post for uh, Vietnam we are now in Vietnam and we had to remove all of our bags at the um, border post so that they can scan it when coming into um, into Vietnam I 
these guys actually told me to get into this bus because they thought I'm going back to uh, Phnom Penh. Uh, so they're going that way now and this bus is going to Ho Chi Minh City. Alright guys, so that's where we're at. Back in the same bus, back with the family. There we go. Original seat. Okay. Alright, alright. We have arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. Oh yes. Yes sir. Right, so uh, guys, there's some money exchange inside. There's also SIM cards and everything. I would say it was about seven and a half hours. It is now after it's, it's 1730. So it was seven and a half hours drive. But I mean, you got to factor in the fact that we stopped at uh, two of the border posts and we had some stops along the way. So I think driving time is around six hours. But with everything else considered, it made it to seven and a half, uh, seven and a half hours. Just want to get a SIM card in here. See what it costs. I just bought a sim for uh, what sim are you giving me? Is it this one? Yeah. Unlimited? Yes. Oh, okay. I've got an unlimited sim for six dollars. Mm. That's fine. Thanks. I've got. Uh, I'm on my way. <laughs> All right, guys. So as per the script, you will be uh, bombarded with um, taxi drivers and. Uh, not tuk-tuks here, I think it's all bicycles and also taxis, so you'll be bombarded with guys trying to give you a lift somewhere, but mine is just up the road actually, I'm three minutes away from where I need to be. I didn't actually need to get the SIM card right now, uh, I might even get it cheaper at my hotel, but it's okay. Guys, I'm not gonna hassle with um, trying to bargain with uh, prices now for SIM cards, I'm like right here and I've arrived. I'm so excited guys, this is country number 37 for me. So I'm in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, and Vietnam is country number 37. So excited guys, wow man, this is a bucket list moment for me. I had to walk through these alleys, but here we are. And that is my hotel, Felix Hotel. Let me just get checked in, and then I will make my way outside again. So check this out guys, this is my room, there is the uh, king size bed and there is my desk space, my bags down there already, mirror, there's a fan, there's AC as well and in the bathroom is there's the bathroom sink, the toilet and the shower all separate. Alrighty, and then we have some coffee on the house and complimentary water and also refrigerator and obviously everything in the fridge you have to pay for so the prices are on the fridge so always be careful of that guys don't just go mad and use them up because you will pay for them and cupboard space all right Not bad. right guys all of this for 17 dollars a night 
17.17 dollars a night.